Hello, everyone. My name is Ryomei Wada from Tehasi University of Technology. Today, I'd like to talk about functional validation of an additional device to the gas sensor for object control sensing properties. In recent years, many sensors that mimic the five human senses have been developed, but the development of smell sensors has been the slowest among them. One of the reasons for this is that a majority of the gas sensors currently in use are single function sensors that selectively sense the target gas. Therefore, they are not capable of detecting mixed gases such as smells. To address these issues, integrated gas sensors in which multiple gas sensors with different characteristics are integrated in the same substrate have been developed. Even if the selectivity of each gas sensor was to be low, the integrated gas sensor could comprehensively measure the presence or absence and concentration of each gas by signal processing of data acquired. In this approach, the type of the gas sensor that needs to be integrated is of importance. However, the number of sensor variation based on the type of sensing membrane is limited. In contrast, research is being conducted to increase sensor variation without relying on gas-sensitive membranes by taking an approach from outside the sensor. The first is an example of physically changing the sensor response. In this advanced research, measurements are taken through different obstructions that affect the airflow reaching the sensor array such as 5 micrometer filter and metal mesh. As a result, the time response and the output value changing due to the measurements through the obstructions. The second is an example of electrically changing the sensor response. In this advanced research, an electric field is formed near the gas sensor. As a result, the sensor response to ammonia increased. The amount of increase depending on the strength of the electric field. In contrast, the sensor response to hydrogen did not change. Therefore, in this study, the proposed novel approach aimed to increase the number of the gas sensor variation that do not depend on gas-sensitive membranes. This figure shows a typical gas sensor in which all the gas molecules reach the gas sensitive area. This figure shows a gas sensor combined with a proposed grid like device, which alters the gas sensing properties. The proposed device either enhances or depresses the gas molecules from reaching the gas sensitive area. This enable to change characteristic of the sensor in a pseudo realistic manner. Thus, the number of sensor variation can be increased without relying on the type of gas sensitive membrane. In this study, we fabricated proposed devices and demonstrated this novel concept through changes in the gas sensing properties, such as gas permeability and time response. This figure shows a schematic of the proposed device. From now on, we call the proposed device a gas grid. The gas grid was placed above the gas sensitive part of the gas sensor. The gas sensor on the gas grid was fixed using a chamber-shaped jig. The gas supplied to the chamber reaches the gas sensor through the gas grid. This figure shows a photograph of the gas grid. 36 through holes were punched into a 10 mm square substrate. Each through hole which act as a gas flow pass was 300 micrometer times 300 micrometer. Aluminum was used to fabricate the grid shaped part atop the through holes. Two variation of the device with grid dimensions of 7.5 and 10 micrometer were fabricated. In order to accurately evaluate the effect of size on the response of the gas sensor, 
The aperture area between the grid was set to 1.62 square millimeter for all variation of the fabricated devices. The structure of each device was such that an electric field was generated between the grids upon the application of voltage. This figure shows the experimental setup for the device evaluation. The sensor used for the measurement is a potentiometric gas sensor with a polyanilin-based gas-sensitive membrane. A gas pump was used to supply the gas. The flow rate of the pump was set at 0.7 liter per minute. There are two gas lines, one for pure nitrogen and the other for the target gas to be measured. And the target gas, 17.5 ppm ammonia in a gas sampling bag was used. The measurement duration was 300 seconds, and pure nitrogen was supplied to chamber from 0 to 60 seconds. The ammonia gas was supplied from 60 to 180 seconds, and pure nitrogen was supplied again from 180 to 300 seconds. Three types of measurement were performed without a gas grid, with a 10 micrometer gas grid, and with a 7.5 micrometer gas grid. This figure shows the measurement data for ammonia at 17.5 ppm. The horizontal axis represents the measurement time, and the vertical axis represents the sensor output of the gas sensor as a voltage. The black, red, and blue plots show the measured value without using a gas grid with a 10 micrometer gas grid and with a 7.5 micrometer gas grid. The response of gas sensors shows a large increase in output immediately after the ammonia gas is supplied, followed by gradual saturation. The sensor output decreased by 22.5% and 71.7% after the placement of the 10 and 7.5 micrometer gas grid. Here, if the effect of the gas grid is indicated only by a change in transmittance, the endpoint of the sensor output would have the same value. However, it can be seen that the endpoint voltage of the sensor response clearly differs depending on the grid dimensions, thereby suggesting that grid effect other than the change in transmittance are also at work. Next, we evaluated the effect of applying voltage to the gas grid on the sensor response. This figure shows the experimental setup. To control the properties of the gas grid electrically, a DC voltage was applied to a 7.5 micrometer gas grid. The flow rate of the pump was set at 0.5 liter per minute. The three target gases were 7 ppm ammonia, 57 ppm acetic acid, and 200 ppm ethanol. The measurement duration was 300 seconds, and pure nitrogen was supplied to the chamber from 0 to 60 seconds, and the target gas was supplied from 60 to 300 seconds. For each gas, measurements were performed with the applied DC voltage to the gas grid being 0, 10, and 50 volt. This figure shows the measurement data for ammonia at 7 ppm. The black, red, and blue graph show the result of measurement for the voltage of 0, 10, and 50 volt applied to the grid. The sensor output increased with an increase in the voltage applied to the gas grid. The sensor response increased by 11.0% at 10 volt and 76.0% at 50 this figure shows a measurement result for acetic acid at 57 ppm. Unlike the case of ammonia, the sensor output decreases with the bias voltage to the gas grid for acetic acid. The sensor response decreased by 26.1% at 10 volt and 54.3% at 50 volt. 
In contrast, in the case of ethanol, there was no change in the sensor response due to the applied voltage. Thus, it was confirmed that the change in sensor output due to the application of voltage to the gas grid depended on the gas type. This figure shows the voltage applied to the gas grid on the horizontal axis and delta V out on the vertical axis. Delta V out is the amount of change in the sensor output when the applied voltage is zero volt. The black, red, and blue plots show the result for ammonia, acetic acid, and ethanol. For ammonia, results for 20 and 40 volt were added. In addition, it can be implied that the degree of change varies with voltage. This implies that the difference in the voltage dependence may be used for gas species identification. Experimental results also suggest that selectivity of gas sensing can be controlled arbitrarily by applied voltage to the gas grid. However, the mechanism of this phenomenon has not been clarified and will be verified in the future. This is a summary. We demonstrated a novel device that can change the sensing properties of the existing gas sensor. A comparison of the effect of gas grids of different sizes on ammonia shows that the sensing properties varied with the size of the gas grid. A comparison of the effect of applied voltage to the gas grid on ammonia, acetic acid, and ethanol shows that the effect of voltage varies with the gas type and can be controlled by the voltage value. This is all for my presentation. Thank you for your attention.